Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series of competitive multiplayer. So this is going to be just like the previous two series of competitive multiplayer. It has been a long time though since the last series and we're going to be continuing on a new map for us, new to us, uh, which is Renabu. Hopefully I have pronounced that correctly. It's in Norway. It is absolutely stunning. I have had a good look around off camera. It's also huge. I think it's eight kilometers squared. It's absolutely gigantic and it's hard to get a sense of scale just by looking at the minimap but field number 12 for example doesn't look very big but actually yeah that is that is a big field so just quickly before we start my land is well plot 66 which is four fields here 113 14 15 and 17 and chainsaws is this one here plot 67 116 118 121 and 122 uh, chainsaws land was worth more so if he came to sell it, he would get more back. Um, but I don't think he will do because, well, the reason why it's more expensive is because there's not as much usable land. It's stripped down the middle. Um, yeah, it's pretty balanced. And we both start off with the same machinery. So it's very fair. Chainsaw's tractor, as you can see from the number plate. My tractor, both T7-220s. We both have Roland trailers on the back of the same size. The Roll Rock 5300. And we both have New Holland TC-59 Combine Harvesters. In case you're wondering, seasonal growth is not switched on. Uh, one day per month, no fixed visual month. We do have snow. We do have crop destruction. We don't have field stone. Uh, lime requirements, yes. Weeds, yes. Uh, dirt is normal. And automatic engine start, off. So without any further ado, let's go. We're gonna go this way. I have already taken a look at this and I thought maybe we can go that way but no to get to our piece of land we do have to go this way you can see chainsaw has already set off put it onto cruise control and yeah if we go onto the farms you can see we've got chainsaw's farm and my farm so we can see each other's progress with the bank account balance but really to see each other's progress properly you are going to have to watch his videos as well because uh, they're going to be very different to mine I will always put a link down below in the description. Anyway, let's just keep going until we get to the field. Taking the sights, this map has so many trees, it's incredible. Uh, in fact, there are way more trees than it appears because we can't see the distant trees, but actually where it's all brown on the mountains over there, that's all trees, it's all forest. It is incredible. Okay, I'll see you over there. We're almost there. One of the features of this map is flowing water, which I think is incredible. It just makes everything come to life. It makes the rivers come to life. And there's waterfalls, as you'll have seen in my cinematic introduction. It is just a beautiful map, basically. So yeah, my plot is the first one. Uh, Chainsaws is directly afterwards, just over here. It is quite a long drive to the store. And also, just like any other competitive multiplayer series, we do have a rule where only two machines or two implements can be rented at one time. So we'd have to return something if we wanted to rent something different, uh, if we already had two machines rented. Okay, right, I'm going to take this turning here. Chainsaw actually could continue one more, I think, to get to his. Uh, but this one will take us both to our own plots. And we do have our field slightly higher than this farm here. Or oh, no, we're on a collision course. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're both desperate to get harvesting. Actually, Chainsaw does have three fields with crops in. I only have two. But we both have four fields. But really, despite as playing competitively 
I'm not super bothered if I don't win. It's just fun. It's just fun to have that competition. It makes you try harder, definitely. Right, so this one on the right is my field. It's not quite ready. It looks like Sorghum. The one directly in front of us is Chainsaws. It's a big field. And yes, that's my field that's ready. Just over there. And obviously, we could buy an existing farm, but chances are I'm going to be building my farm here on one of the pieces of land, and then we're going to be expanding. So, we've got a good plot of land just here to uh, get the combine set up on. We're going to have to do the same journey again with the tractor and trailer. But really, this is just to get as much money in as possible. And yeah, it looks like I have a grass field, which is nice. I'm not too sure if Chainsaw has a grass field. I think he probably got another crop instead of... Um, well, he got another growing crop instead of the grass. Maybe that's grass over there? The small one? Anyway, we better get cracking. And this is exactly my point. You can see the size of field 114. Doesn't look that big at all on the minimap. But I wouldn't call that a small field. Okay, should we? Straw is not available. Oh, it's canola. I don't know why I thought it was uh, a cereal crop. Well, that's good. Because I don't have a baler. We'd have to rent a baler. It probably wouldn't be cost effective. It's also good because it means the combine's not going to fill up too quickly. Now, Chainsaw is free to have other mods such as grain silos, placeables if he wants to. We'll always uh, arrange this prior to starting the uh, recording session, so he can let me know if we want to have anything else put onto the server. But for now, I think we're both just going to focus on what we've got and go from there. This is just how we always start every competitive multiplayer series. And I think playing at times 10, time speed is about right. I think the previous series were on times 15, it was a bit fast. And now we do have the option of times 10. Right, so yeah, I'm going to get this to 100%, and then we'll be back to the store to get the tractor. I wonder where the best place is to sell. I will have a look off camera. The grain mill. Also, I noticed we've got quite a breeze up here, which makes sense, because we are further up. Well, not right at the top of the mountain, certainly, but we're higher up. It's not right down there at river level. Yeah, the grain mill is not too close to it. It's all the way over here. We're over here. But it's doable. The nice thing is the New Holland tractor does have a top speed of 32 miles per hour. We do need that extra speed. 50 kilometers per hour. And the price could be better, but it's not terrible. It's about 1600. A good price is, on this map, about 2,200-ish. It's time to unload. Thought we'd stick together when we go and get the trailers. <laughs> uh, my combine wasn't quite full, but it looks more impressive having two tractors together. But this is where we split. Chainsaw does have straw, so I don't know what he's going to do with it. Maybe bale it? 
There is a telehandler at the store which is available for both of us to use, but yeah, the rule is we can't just take it to the field or anything, it's just for loading up uh, pallets and bags at the store. So he couldn't bring it up here to load bales. But he can rent one. Renting is fine. Um, as is uh, using a worker. You can use a worker. Ah, oh, I'm always doing that. I suppose it, it would help if I wasn't trying to get into the combine through the header. Right, so we're going to uh, unload that now, make sure it's nice and empty. Can actually see all the belts and pulleys in there. Seems like a nicely detailed combine. And also the number plates. We could never get confused as to whose vehicles are whose. Seems like a really decent trailer. Almost empty. We should be able to keep hold of this combine for quite some time, because it's not tiny. And it would be a great expense to change it. It's also a nice combine. It has an offset cab. Right, so uh, if that was a full load pretty much, then it looks like we're probably going to get another full load. So I would guess it's going to be more than a full tray load at the end. You can see we do have some weeds in here. We are keeping weeds enabled as shown at the beginning. I think it's only fair and it makes it more challenging. But field stone, yeah, neither of us want to be dealing with the field stone. So we'll go without. Let's unload. Just using a worker here briefly. I was hoping to unload on the move, but actually it's coming off course. Yeah, we probably won't be using workers too much. Uh, more for cultivation and drilling, I suppose. And I know that some people will come back. Some people are going to say immediately, join the fields together. It's not a bad idea. I'm not going to do it straight away. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this worker. But I think it will be done. Um, and also, I think this plot of land up here is where I'm going to build my main farm and then yeah we can go anywhere we don't have to stay here we can spread out it would be amazing to go over here it's so far away though because of it being such a big map uh, there's always gonna be something new to discover if we go over there I think that worker was probably 13 pounds down the drain I think I might also put the first shed up today. If we put that smaller shed up, well, we'll, we'll see. I'll have a look and see what we've got. Of course, we do have the Norwegian buildings as well, so it'd be good to go for those. We're on our final little bit here. Looks like Chainsaw still has a fair chunk. I'm not too sure how much bigger his field is. Slightly bigger. And then he's got 121 which is also ready to harvest. But then we do have the sorghum field, which is just over there, uh, which we'll be doing most likely in the next episode. He's full. Now, I think he'll be going to the same place because I don't think there's an awful lot of different places to go to for selling the grain. Yeah, it's basically grain mill. We're not gonna be able to catch him up but we'll certainly pass him. Decent size header. Really good one to go with. 
to start with. Right. Oh, this is full. In that case, switch the engine off. No point wasting diesel. And we will head off in this direction. Yes, we can go this way. And I think when we get back, we'll have a very quick tour of what we actually own. It will be a quick tour. But it'd be good just to have a closer look. And I just love all these different streams everywhere. Flowing streams. And eventually we could buy a plot of land with buildings. I think we'll do that. For now though, we just want to set up a shed up in the top field. Ah, I was probably going a bit too fast there, but we were in a rush to get things sold. I was hoping that stake would be solid so I could sort of climb it. Well, if Chainsaw can give me a push, that'd be great. Just need to climb over here. Yes! Yes, that's kind of worked. Still stuck on it. Ah, oh, let's get rid of this traffic. Chaos. Absolute chaos. I think I'm going to have to drive to the end. If we can just get it off the end, then that'd be sorted. Go away, cars. Nothing to see. Oh, we're almost there. Yes, we are free. Good. Perfect. Yeah, I think time should go to time six. I actually don't know what we were playing on before. I thought it was times 15, but that would have been super fast. Maybe it was times 10. Times 6... Yeah, it doesn't want to be any slower. Anyway, we're almost, after that fiasco, at the sell point. Here it is. Right, so we can get our first bit of money in. Like I said, the price isn't too bad can be an awful lot better, but it's good enough. £18,780. Well, that will actually pay, it will more than pay, for the new shed. And I am going to go with the Norwegian sheds. I'm not going to go for the generic ones which come in the base game. They're good as well, but I think on this map it makes perfect sense to go with the correct buildings for the location. Uh, right, so I'm going to go back to the field, I'm going to jump cut this, I'll try not to crash again, and yeah, we'll get the rest of the grain out of the combine. And we're back. Yeah, so um, this is ours. This is our biggest field, 115, a grass field. Whether or not it's going to stay as grass, I don't know yet. Suggestions welcome. And this is... Oh, it's a grass field. It's just been drilled. I really don't want two grass fields. So we're going to have to do something about that. Um, and then, yes, I think the boundary to our land is here. Yeah, the track. So we don't actually... Own, oh, we own the trees. Looks like we do own the trees just over here. Over on the far side. It is a decent amount of land that we start off with, and that's partly the reason why we started off with £100,000 instead of £250,000. I think Series 1, yeah, we started off with 250. There's Chainsaw. So at the moment, yeah, we're in viewing distance. We can actually see each other. I think what I'm going to do is rent a direct drill, and I'm going to get this field here re-drilled, the sorghum field which hasn't yet been harvested and the grass field, one of them, maybe the big one, one of them is going to be direct drilled as a different crop. Let's get this unloaded. It 
It would appear we do still have a decent amount in there. Done. Right. So we'll leave that in the trailer for now. It was a grand total of 2,298 litres there. I need to move the header trailer. And it looks like we probably could build without doing too much landscaping. Landscaping will cost money. So we can't really prioritise loads of landscaping. We have machinery to buy. But we've got to get a place to store stuff. And this just seems like the, the perfect place. It's just the obvious place to put a shed. So, construction, sheds, and you can see we've got several here. In fact, they are fairly inexpensive. Yeah, they're pretty good. But which one to go for? Like that one really stands out. But then that one is the same price. Would that be worth getting? I suppose, yeah, this end part, this extension might be dead space. I uh, probably can't get too many machines in there. This one is perfect. Right, so I don't want it to be floating. So hopefully the ground is going to be automatically leveled. Maybe I should put it here. Let's take a look. Not bad. I think, yes, placing that has just put a bit of lag in. There we go. Has it cleared? It's just getting used to it. Uh, yeah, maybe it's floating slightly on the backside, but not bad at all. Brilliant. So we've got this area. Yeah, you can see a bit of uh, terrain editing would have been ideal. And our oh, vehicle workshop. Wow, I didn't even realise. I should have paid more attention. Great. So we've got somewhere to service our equipment, customise it, and store stuff. That is perfect. It's probably too late to do anything with this, but it, it's perfect. We have somewhere to store our equipment. Things like the header trailer probably could stay outside. As soon as we've harvested the other field, we'll put the header on it and we can pop it away. For now, though, yeah, we've just got to wait for that field over there to be ripe. And it would seem silly to get the drill because we have to pay a daily fee. So that sort of leaves me with a bit of a problem. What do we do next? If I had a plough, I could potentially join some fields together. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Well, actually, that middle area is quite flat. The middle area of the grass is flat, so that could be where we put the main yard. Yeah, I think if we plough this piece here, then we can make this field here bigger. So let's go and sell this. We'll rent a plough. It really should be pretty cheap. And it doesn't have to be a big one, because it's not a big area. Yeah, it's amazing how dark it goes on that side of the mountain. Because it's totally blocking the sunshine. It's all in shade. And now it's like a completely different day over here. But I think, yeah, time six, it seems to be a good rate to have the time at. So from now on, it'll be time six. Okay, right, here we are. For our final load today. On the way back, we'll stop off at the store. We're going to have to put the plough on the front linkage. Because I still want to take the trailer back. £3,951. And as for buying the plough, I don't think so. I don't really want to be doing much ploughing. Periodic ploughing should be switched off anyway. What a beautiful map. And I can't even imagine what it's going to be like in the snow even more beautiful. Whoa. I was going to say, to avoid accidents, first person view is going to be much easier. I was just in third person view, so you had a better view. But then cars go and turn in front of you anyway, so yeah, there will still be more accidents.
is our turning for the store. Just let these cars through. It's a busy bridge. Everybody wants to be here. And here we are at the store. So as mentioned, the telehandler just over there is for both of us. It will allow us to both use it which is great fun. And it saves us from having to buy a telehandler just to load things up here. Anyway, yes, the, uh, actually let's just check the sales. Wow, look how much stuff there is in here. Um, yeah, so because we do have such a great, oh wow, it's actually a direct drill. Would it be worth buying this outright? It would take nearly all of our money. Actually, there's a fantastic range of different machines. Quite a big trailer there too. Um, yeah, do we... I don't know if it would be worth it actually. Maybe it would be... I think it would always be cheaper just to rent it. I'm going to rent it, but for today we're just going for the plough. So we'll rent... Uh, yeah, that one. That one should be a good one for us. About £1,200. So let's pop it onto the front. Have to be careful on the way back. I wonder if that would lift the front of the tractor up. I can't really take a weight with us now. Should fold up a bit more actually. There we go. Yeah, last thing we want to be doing is crashing into cars. Obviously designed to be on the back. It's going to be fun on the bridge. Oh, nobody here. Well, that makes it much easier. On the previous series, we always skip the night at about 7.30. So 7.30 to 7am. I think it's going to have to be the same on this series. I can get a bit of ploughing done first. It's a bit brighter up here. We are closer to the moon. Let's take the trailer off in the shed. Uh, has Chainsaw moved on to a new field? He has. I'm not too sure if this shed has lights. I don't think so, no. Well, we don't really need it. We don't need lights. We can just reverse into here. That's good. And it's tall enough to fit the tractor underneath the uh, entrance there, uh, under the door. Brilliant. So then fold this. And we're going to extend the field boundaries just quickly. Uh, we're going to be finishing this next time. The daily fee on the plough should be minimal. And it looks like we should be able to get away with not using a weight this time around. Uh, so that's all the tractor's lights. This is the piece that I'm really going to be going for today. Yeah, this is a 220. This tractor can be upgraded. So we can actually put some more money into it. We'd have to buy a new tractor. Um, I think we can go up, I don't know, 50, 60 horsepower, um, which is going to make all the difference for some machines, for some implements. But it is pulling it fine anyway. Turn those beacons off. We need to do this to all the fields, really. The more usable land that we have, the better.
Almost finished. Yes, I'm sure there's going to be plenty more places to do this. Expanding all the field boundaries, which we'll uh, pick up again next time. Uh, I think Chainsaw might have gone to the cell point to sell his last load of grain. Yeah, he's just on the way back now. Uh, so good timing, because it is time to, uh, to end. And hopefully, it is going to be about one episode for each in-game day. That would just be really good. At the beginning of the episode it's morning, like 7am, and at the end of the episode it's 7pm. I'd love it if that's how it's working out. Uh, time 6 does seem to be about the right time rate for that. But look at how much land we've already gained. And I suppose, yeah, this is quite, well, very far north, isn't it, in Norway. Uh, maybe it doesn't go dark at all in the summertime. Just dusk. I'm not too sure if that's reflected on this map. Uh, but this map does seem to be highly realistic, so it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, uh, yes, all this can be extended too. I'll be doing that next time. So much to do. Uh, just switch off the allow create field mode. We're going to pop this in the shed for tonight. Yeah, we could really benefit from a front weight as well, but one step at a time. The combine can stay there for tonight because it's going to be used first thing tomorrow in the sorghum field. The chainsaw really did benefit from having at least two fields which are ready to harvest and three fields with crops in. Okay, right. That should do it. Switch the lights off and the engine. Is chainsaw back? Must be close now. Here he is, he's just putting some more oats into his trailer and he's still got quite a crop here but if you want to see the progress that Chainsaw's making then please do check out his video, the link is down below. Thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.